be very, very quiet. I'm hunting wabbits. <laughs> Crazy. All right, here's my last one, guys. Lightened hair rejects ash. Lightened hair rejects <clears throat> ash. I hear this stated. I see it stated. I watch Instagram lives where it's stated that li that lightened hair rejects ash. And most of the reason it is is because people say, well, I toned her with an ash, but then her warmth came back. Well, you know, look, it's not that the hair rejects ash. It's that you're using a complementary color. <laughs> oh, Max brought the hunting dog. She's fired up. Yeah. <laughs> you're using a, co a contrasting color on a warm head of hair. So if you're using, con remember, hair color is not, you're not painting a wall. You're merging the two colors together. So if I merge an ash toner on lightened hair, after a couple of shampoos, that toner starts to break down because toners usually have a very small amount of pigment in them. They don't have a lot of longevity. In most cases, you know, it depends on how the person maintains them away from, away from the salon. That's why <coughs> toning shampoos are a good idea. <coughs> So it's that you see the contrast quicker or you see the warmth quicker because the contrast is so strong. If I were to tone that lightened hair with a warm toner, I wouldn't see the contrast so quick. I wouldn't see the, the, the hair that was lightened quickly because they're very similar in tonality. So lightened hair doesn't reject anything that you put on it. If it's lightened, and you put a color on it, it most often will accept that color. So if you put an ash toner on somebody's lightened hair, and when you shampoo it off, the hair is still warm, it has nothing to do with it being ash. It has to do with you probably either the level of hair was not at the right level to accept the toner that you chose. That's why it's very important to understand what is the level of lightness that you're creating on the hair before you go to tone it? And how much warmth is in there? Because if you're using an ash toner, we would assume you're trying to diminish warmth. If that hair is very, very strong in warmth and you try to tone it with something that's very weak in an ash pigment, it's, the warmth is going to override it. The warmth is not going to accept it because you don't have enough pigment in your color in order to override the warmth that the hair is contributing. I so just talked to someone issue. about that. Yeah, that's where the issue is. It's not in hair rejects ash. See, that's another one of those blanket statements that makes hair colorists go, uh, well, you mean I can't tone anybody's hair with ash? Well, if that were true, Marilyn Monroe would have never been the color that she was. If that were true, um, you, you can name any blonde <laughs> that is an ash blonde or a silver blonde or a platinum blonde. They would have never been those colors if lightened hair rejects ash. So that's like, why would you even talk about that kind of a statement? How do you guys feel about that? <laughs> and uh, we, we, have, we have all the feels. Yeah, all the feels right all now. All the feels, all of them. I just finished talking to someone about that, and actually, it had to do more with direct dyes. Yeah. Um, and she was talking about how to, how it, how I use a toning shampoo when I tone. Well, it depends on where it's sitting in a chromat in the chromatic rings. Like right. I can't tone somebody with a, you know, that's on the outside of the of the chromatic ring with something that's super close to neutral and make a really strong effect on the opposite side, you know, right. on the, on that opposite side. So with direct dyes, it's really, it's a lot easier, I think, to see it, like right. when you're explaining it when you are doing it, yeah. but when we're using oxidative dyes, you know, it's, it's a little bit different when you're formulating for it. Yeah. That's a good yeah. point, Erica. I think that, 
um, I think when people miss is that they think ash uh, always has to be blue or it always has to be green. And they completely forget about a color called gray. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and if, if, even if they were to use gray on pale yellow hair, you would make that, that hair very cool, very flat. You know, so, <clears throat> so those are things I think that, you know, ash is, remember, ash is not a color. Ash is a process. In the first part of our broadcast today, you heard Erica talk about taking a three-level natural and diluting it with clear. That's what zero, zero is. Diluting it to a lighter level and using it to control warmth. Well, why would anybody do that? Because it can. Uh, because it can, <laughs> yeah. Well, it's really simple if you think about it. As colors, as we build a hair color, as the hair colors get lighter, we're not diluting those hair colors. At each level, we're using a different combination of dye intermediates to make the color at that level. So a darker level of hair color will have a different combination of dyes than a lighter level will. So even though I'm using a light level, let's say level nine, and it's violet based, and I'm using on a level nine, which would be yellow, it makes sense, right? If we think about the world of paint, that I should be able to neutralize that yellow. But what if that yellow is really strong? I probably need something that has more pigment in it. So by diluting a level three or anything darker with a clear, I don't change that level. It's not in that family. I don't change a three to a nine. I change a three to a level three at a lighter level. So it's different dye intermediates at a lighter level, which are going to give me more strength to control the warmth. And that's just why change she, the value of it. Yeah, just okay. change the value. That's all she did. She played the value game. And <clears throat> that's all that it takes to really, you know, control those lightened heads of hair. So if you have issues with that, if you, if you say, if this sounds interesting, you need to come to one of our classes. Simple as that. And uh, we can show you how to do all that. We can. Fun. So, guys, look, we have been running here for a while. I think we're right at the end of our game. Listen, it has been so much fun with you two. Uh, we've had lots of stuff to talk about. And uh, it's, it's been really, really great fun. Have you guys had fun today? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. But well, Max, as always, I love having you on the show uh, and being part of the show because you know you bring a great, great cons a great perception to the table. And Eric, I'm so excited that you were part of it today. We'll have to have you back again for sure. Thanks so for having me, guys. Great. So listen, if you like what you're seeing, you can subscribe to our YouTube channel right here underneath us. Uh, we would love that. And we are so happy that our, our channel is growing. Thank you so much for uh, telling people about us and sharing what we have to share with you. You can reach us on Instagram as well. You can find Max at Max M Hair. You can find me at Real Captain Color. And Erica, what is your IG my IG handle is just Erica Blancet. Erica yeah. Blancet. Okay, so uh, you guys watch for that. And then we invite you to come to our website, www.gurunation.net, and uh, check out our educational page. Uh, we have live on online classes in our virtual classroom. We also have pre recorded webinars that you can download and watch. And uh, uh, if you find this beneficial, please share it with your friends. Uh, our whole goal is to help you become more successful. Um, as I say always, we want to help you become the master of your hair color services. We want to help you discover your own personal genius that each and every one of you have inside of you. And hopefully this information is going to help you do that. And it possibly has provoked your thought process. Um, like we always say, we're not here to contradict what you've been taught or contra be contrasting to your belief system but we are here to provoke your thought process so 
reflect on this and then let us know if it means a lot to you send us a message let us know how we're doing what can we do for you that'll make this program more exciting and more fun so you guys uh oh uh oh there's our ride there's our ride (laughs) i'll meet you guys in the clearing and uh, all right until we see you again from my heart to yours i am captain color i am out of here erica thank you dear thank you man Take care, everyone. Bye, guys. Bye-bye.